Why the Oyster Has the Pearl, written by Jeanette Downing, illustrated by Bethann Hill. Why the Oyster Has the Pearl In the beginning, the oyster was the keeper of all the jewels in the world. The oyster was generous and kind. He would display the jewels for any creatures who wanted to see them, and would give jewels to any creature who needed them. Of all the snakes in the world, there was one who was greedy. As he watched many creatures visit the oyster, the snake was scheming. Oh dear oyster, he said, I've seen all of the creatures in the great water. They sparkle with all of the color of the jewels you have given them. My eyesight is poor. Would you give me two emeralds for my eyes to help me see? Sure, said the oyster. Choose the ones you need and leave the rest. The snake picked the two largest emeralds he could find. He placed them on his eyes and swam away. The following day, the snake returned to the oyster. Oh, gracious oyster, the emeralds you gave me for my eyes are green like the sea. Everything I look upon is green. I can't tell one thing from another. May I have four amethysts to help reflect the sun's rays and help me see better? Sure, said the oyster. Choose the ones you need and leave the rest. The snake took the four brightest amethysts he could find, placed them over the emeralds as his eyes, and swam away. The following day, the snake returned to the oyster. Oh, gentle oyster, my tongue is forked and drab. Nothing tastes good on my tongue. Perhaps you can spare a ruby or two or ten to make my tongue a deep, delicious red? Sure, said the oyster. Choose the ones you need and leave the rest. The snake slurped up every ruby in sight with his long tongue and swam away. The following day, the snake returned to the oyster. Oh, loyal oyster, my body is dull. Would you give me some golden rings to make it shimmer? Sure, said the oyster. Choose the ones you need and leave the rest. The snake grabbed as many golden rings as his body could carry and swam away. The following day, the snake returned to the oyster. Oh, noble oyster, the golden rings you have given me are heavy and slide off my body when I swim. Some sapphires would be useful to keep the golden rings in place. May I have two or three hundred sapphires? Sure, said the oyster. Choose the ones you need and leave the rest. The snake took every last sapphire he could find, as well as a few other jewels, slid them between the golden rings, and swam away. Finally, as the sun gave away to the moon, the snake returned to the oyster. Oh, dear, gracious, gentle, loyal, noble, and courageous oyster. The water is so dark when the sun sleeps. I have no sunlight to reflect light on my eyes. I am lost, and I cannot find my way home in the dark. What could you give me to help me go home? The oyster looked at his jewels. He only had two jewels left that the snake had not taken. I am sorry to say that I only have two jewels in my keeping. Choose the one you need and leave the rest. The snake looked at the two jewels. There was a large sparkling diamond and a small pearl. The snake quickly stuffed the large diamond into his mouth. Then he snatched the pearl too, and he crammed it into his mouth. Ha 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 ha, you foolish oyster. I have swindled you out of all of your jewels. Now you have nothing. The snake laughed and laughed so hard that the diamond became wedged in his jaw and the pearl became lodged in his throat. He coughed 
and gagged, and then he began choking. Help! Help me, friend oyster, gasped the snake. The oyster put the snake's neck between his two shells and pushed with all of his might. The pearl popped out of the snake's throat and landed inside the oyster shell. The snake could breathe again, but the diamond was wedged in his jaw forever. And that is why, even to this day, the snakes who are not to be trusted have diamond-shaped heads, and why the oyster has the pearl. Thank you for reading Why the Oyster Has the Pearl with me. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and enjoy a new book every week.